Have you ever had such a good comeback for a narcissist's insults that you just could not help but take the bait? I've been there. But then before you know it, you are just caught up in the net and you are so far into it that you can't even see yourself out. Narcissists bait for so many reasons. They bait us into all kinds of different things. It's not always just arguments. And sometimes even when you see it for what it is, it's difficult not to take the bait because they're really good at what they do. So in this video, I wanted to share why narcissists bait us, what is behind all of this, and share the ways in which they bait us so that you can be better prepared next time. My name is Christina, and this channel is dedicated to helping you recognize and deal with the after effects of emotional abuse. And if you think that you have been stuck in these cycles of narcissistic abuse, I have a free download that you're gonna find really helpful. So now let's get back to all the reasons that narcissists bait us. Now, some people get stuck in the idea that a narcissist only baits you into arguments, but that is not true. Narcissists use baiting as a form of manipulation. They use baiting to get you to do what they want you to do. So first we're gonna talk about what's behind that, why narcissists do this so often, and then we're gonna look at the ways in which a narcissist might be baiting you. So the first and most dangerous way that a narcissist will bait you is by love bombing. So they will give you insincere compliments, they will flatter you, they will seem to put you up on a pedestal and make you feel like you know this person really well and you can let your guard down around them. They will bait you to become vulnerable with them. And then once you feel comfortable, once you feel like you're safe, that's when the devaluation sets in. So the next way a narcissist will bait you is to elicit a reaction. And this is one that we know very well when we talk about reactive abuse. And it definitely does apply to reactive abuse. So reactive abuse abuse is when a narcissist baits you into reacting. And this often happens in front of an audience. So if you've ever been in a situation where you know that somebody is intentionally triggering you, or they're saying something that you just can't help but react to, and then you end up feeling bad, you maybe aren't proud of how you acted, and you feel like maybe you have to apologize for your behavior to other people who saw you react. This is almost always reactive abuse and the narcissist will bait you into reacting in that way. And they can only do this if they know you very well and they know your triggers. And even though it feels really unfair, there are other ways to get around reacting. And there's a lot involved with that, but for now I'll just say that if you want to become less reactive to the narcissist, it's really important to deal with your triggers. To dig deeper and figure out why those things are so triggering to you and to come to some level of peace with them. The less reactionary you are, the less able you are to be manipulated. So there's some extra motivation to do some of that healing work. So another reason a narcissist might bait you is to just create drama. They might just be bored and there's nothing more to it. They want some drama in their life and they don't want to look like the bad guy. And because most narcissists usually claim to hate drama so much, they don't really want it tied back to them. They want to sit back and watch the show. Another reason a narcissist may bait you is to protect their false image. So if they feel in any way threatened, you can expect that a narcissist will use some sort of sleight of hand to get the attention away from them. And often that is putting the attention onto you. And usually that attention is not in a favorable light. A narcissist may also bait to test their level of control over you. If they can pull your emotional strings, that right there is supply for the narcissist, even if there's no audience, even if it doesn't end up in some big dramatic situation. If they can get you to react in exactly the way they want you to react, then that gives them some sense of power and control. And another reason a narcissist may use baiting to get an emotional reaction out of you is to get you to do something they want you to do for them. They might bait you with questions that end up making you feel either guilty or like you're not doing enough or make you feel like somehow you have something to prove. And if they can get you to feel this way, that is a very beneficial for them. So we talked about what's behind the baiting. Now we're gonna dig into 
five ways that a narcissist will bait you. So there's a flattery, criticism, provocation, lies, and guilt. Flattery is what you see in the love bombing phase. And you might wonder how you could detect the flattery as bait instead of sincere compliments. But if you've known this person for a while and suddenly they start acting sweet, suddenly they start complimenting you, and you know that this person has been emotionally abusive to you, see that as a red flag. And you don't necessarily have to call them out on it, but just start paying attention. Start paying attention to what comes next because flattery is often used to get you to let your guard down. Because if you think that someone sees you in a favorable light, someone's looking up to you, you feel validated and you feel good and you feel more comfortable with this person. So if someone who has been emotionally abusive to you in the past is making you feel super comfortable and all the good feels, that's a sign to pay attention. So a narcissist may criticize or otherwise provoke you into an argument. And they may do this with their behavior. So criticism, even if it's like a backhanded compliment, it's usually pretty easy to detect, especially when you know this person's brand of criticism. But a narcissist can try to provoke you in different ways that are not as obvious. So they may act in a way that they know is going to set you off. They may do something super inconsiderate and make it seem like it was an accident. It was a mistake. Like, oh, I had no idea. I just wasn't even thinking. But it's something that they do all the time. And it's something that always sets you off. So if you notice that the narcissist in your life is doing things like that, start paying attention to what's going on in the environment. What's going on around the thing that they're provoking you with? What are they covering up? What are they trying to deflect from? Or go back to the reasons why narcissists bait and try to figure out what's behind this? What are they getting at? Why are they doing it? But the most important thing is try not to react. Because when you can master that, when you can master the art of not reacting, that's when you can see the narcissist's true colors come out. That's when you can see that it was all just a game to begin with. Because this is when you're going to see them actually get angry that you didn't react to these things that they are so innocently doing to provoke you. If it was innocent, they wouldn't have a reaction to your non-reaction. So lies as a form of baiting is an interesting one. And sometimes narcissists will use lies just to throw you off guard. And we see this all the time with gaslighting. And here they're, they could be baiting you into an argument, but ultimately they are trying to get you to question yourself. And then there's guilt. Narcissists will use guilt if they can to get you to do things that they want you to do, to get you to feel a sense of loyalty to them and to keep you under control. And this is especially common when you're dealing with a narcissistic parent because they are going to expect a certain amount of loyalty regardless of how they have acted or how they've treated you. It is always gonna be very important for a narcissist or a highly narcissistic person to remain in control. Control is a very big part of that false persona that they protect so desperately. And in order to have you under control, they need you to feel like they have the upper hand. But this is really all an illusion. The narcissist's narrative is that you are weak and they are strong. But again, it's an illusion. And if you want more proof of that, watch this video right here and I'll see you next time.